okay so picture this you're a content creator and you post on social media sites like youtube tiktok instagram and so on so basically you have an iphone and you film with that for content creation and from there you move your iphone footage to your windows laptop and then it's stressful now that person basically is me because i film with my iphone and i use a windows laptop to edit my videos and post so in this video i'm gonna explain why this process is very stressful so first of all is this i basically film anything i do in my iphone everything after i film everything then i have to find a way to basically transfer whatever i film to my windows laptop so one thing that i basically used to do before was that i had this app called send anywhere i think and then it was on my android phone that i had before so basically i had to use that to transfer anything i recorded from my iphone to my android phone and that would take internet connection like you know because nigeria internet is so expensive here and it finishes instantly so it was really expensive for me to be doing that every single time i want to edit my videos so I found another way to actually do this without me having to spend my internet. And that was by using Zender. Now for me, when using Zender, it was just simple. I'll use my Android phone, I'll be the sender on the Android, and then the iPhone, I'll be the receiver. And then my iPhone, I'll send all the footage from there and from there, copy it to my Windows laptop. Now for me, I don't have my Android phone anymore because my mom gave it away. So I was just using my little brother's tablet and I couldn't use it every single time because sometimes I may make videos and I might be in school. So I won't have it. So just go home and then cut the thing and then, you know, it's the stress, like it's stressful. But however, I found a much better way to do it. So I bought this extension right here on AliExpress and this is a lighting to USB adapter. I just plugged it into my iPhone whenever I'm done recording and I now get a flash drive like this, put it inside here and then from there I just copy whatever I want to copy. Now after sending it to the Windows laptop, there is the most stressful part of it all. Now you might think that since I copied everything, I can just start getting everything edited right away. Nope, I can't do that because none of my video editors can read the format that iphone records in which is the mov format so they can't read it at all and the only way that it can be read by my computer is if now that i upload everything to my google drive and then download it from google drive and as i said that that thing will take so much internet and so many videos like i can't do it at all it's not me no no now what do i do in this case it's simple I downloaded the Handbrake program, which is an open source program. And from there, I put all my footage into Handbrake. And from there, I convert everything into a format that it can read. Now, the issue with Handbrake is that basically, if your laptop is slow, then converting everything will be slow. Like for me, laptop is slow. So it takes a lot of time before I can actually, you know, process a video. And also it takes even slower. If you want the video to be in a higher quality, then the conversion times will take much longer. But if you want things to be in faster, then the quality will end up being lower. But, you know, the conversion time will be faster. So after I basically convert everything and everything is now readable by my computer, I can now start editing everything. Now, editing is also stressful as well because basically it takes so much time to edit a video. Like it can take me like a day or two to edit the video. Sometimes I just might be listening. Sometimes it might even take me like maybe three days or longer just to edit one video. And man, this life is so stressful. Now for editing, I have to make sure that every single thing is there. I have to make sure that everything I want in the video is there. Like it's really, really stressful. And then when it now comes to now, you know, converting the video, it takes time as well. Now, finally, at the end of the day, I post my videos so that all of you can see it even if only one or two or three people see my videos it's okay i'm happy that i'm actually pushing out videos to people who may be interested in seeing my videos now for me i really wish that maybe i had like a camera or something or maybe like to film on an android phone maybe like something like the samsung galaxy s series for example because those basically will output and formats that are readable but anyway that's my editing process from start to finish i hope you enjoyed the video so um peace out